Hi folks, uh, I see a lot of people trying to memorize inverse trig derivative functions using all kinds of stupid tricks and I have seen bunch of videos that try to show you how you can memorize them using uh, some kind of a method. So please don't do that. It's uh, If you forget, it's pretty easy to derive them. I'll show you a simple three-step process by which you can derive them and the chances of you getting them wrong would be a lot less than using all those pet tricks. So let's, without much ado, let's see how we can do that. So okay, let's get to the formulas. So what do we have? Derivative of sine inverse x is 1 over square root of 1 minus x square and derivative of tan inverse x is 1 over 1 plus x square Derivative of secant inverse x is 1 over mod x square root of x square minus 1. And the corresponding ones for cos inverse x, cotangent inverse x, and cosecant inverse x are pretty similar, only there is a negative sign in front of them. So if we can get these first three formulas, sin inverse x, tan inverse x, and secant inverse x, so you are home free. So now let's see how we can derive this. You have y is equal to sine inverse x, which says x is equal to sine y. Now, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find derivative of sine inverse x. So you write this as 1 over derivative of y sine y. So this is the definition for finding the derivatives for inverses. So 1 over the derivative of sine y. So you know derivative of sine y is cos y so that becomes equal to 1 over cos y but can you write cos y in terms of sin y 1 over square root of 1 minus sin square y is equal to cos y so you should know this because cos square y plus sin square y is equal to 1 and cos square y can be written as 1 minus sin square y and take a square root of that, you get cos y. And now we know sin y is equal to x. We convert it back 1 over square root of 1 minus x square. So by the time you see the next two, it becomes a lot more natural and intuitive. So what did we do? We took a derivative, wrote it as 1 over d over dy sin y that is 1 over cos y, we converted it into in terms of sine and then we replace it back with x. So what about tan inverse? So derivative of tan inverse x, write it as 1 over d over dy tan y. So that is 1 over secant square y. You know secant square y can be written as 1 over 1 plus tan square y. Why am I writing this? Because I want to convert it back in terms of tan y. That's equal to 1 over 1 plus x square because x is equal to tan y. Again, how about secant? This is slightly more complicated, but it's not that much more complicated. So derivative of secant inverse x, write it as 1 over d over dy secant y. And what's the derivative of secant y? Secant y tan y. So now again we want to convert this in terms of secant y. So the part that's not in terms of secant y is tan y. And that's equal to 1 over secant y times square root of secant square y minus 1. So these identities you should know one, that 1 plus tan square y is equal to secant square y. So if you don't know and if you're trying to work on derivatives of uh, trigonometric functions, you're probably getting ahead of yourself. Now we take it and replace it back. So you know x is equal to secant y, we put it back. And now here is a slight catch. You have a mod x. So that sometimes people do write formula without mod x and just put in, putting x. So you have to be careful about the um, 
a domain and range of the inverse functions that are being considered but I think if there is something funky here that would be just this why you have to put a modulus here I'll cover that in a, a separate video but I think hopefully this gives you a little trick to remember this and to be able to derive the formulas as well as in a way you get to refresh your two formulas that sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 and 1 plus tan square x is equal to secant square x or y whatever it is. So if you like this um, share it with your friends and subscribe. Thank you. And oh actually let me do one thing. So let's recap the formulas once more. Sin inverse x is 1 over square root of 1 minus x square. Tan inverse x is 1 over 1 plus x square. Secant inverse x is 1 over mod of x, x square minus 1. See you in the next video.